Hello, this is Vivek. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PHP Mailer in localhost and you can use it the same way in your applications. Here I'm using SMTP server and I'm using SendGrid. You can sign up for SendGrid for a free account and or else you can use Amazon SES or, or other SMTP services. I'm using PHP Mailer for SendGrid and Amazon SES. You can use it with this. I'm going to sendgrid.com. Here you can sign up for a free account. I'm just showing this free plan. It's a free plan. 40,000 emails for 30 days. And after that, it's 100 per day. If you are just testing out your application, you can go with this SendGrid free plan. And you can use Amazon ACS also. It costs around 10 cents for 1,000 emails using Amazon ACS. Okay, let's go to pricing. 10 cents for every thousand emails. That's what it costs. Here I'm creating a new file. Here I'm using a XAMPP server and I'm on htdocs directory and I have created a scripts directory inside htdocs and I'm creating a PHP mailer. Inside this PHP mailer, I'm going to download PHP mailer and we'll set it up. I'm going to PHP Mailer's GitHub page and from this page, I'm going to download PHP Mailer. Just click on download zip. It's downloaded. I'm going to copy it. I'm copying it to scripts and PHP Mailer. I've pasted it here. I'll extract it. It's extracted. It's a PHP Mailer master. And let's go to GitHub page. And here you can see the example code. I am going to use this. We should load these namespaces and we should require these files and we should change this path to our PHP Mailer path. Okay. Here I am creating a new file. send email you can name it whatever you want index or test.php i'm just pasting this here and the path is php mailer master inside this we have source directory that is src i'm updating it as php mailer master or else we can rename the php mailer master php mailer php mailer master php mailer master here we need the reference code i'm just going it to going into git page here is this we have added a namespaces we can use auto load or we can include all those files or require all these files and for instantiating this php mailer i should use this code Here I am going to update it with my login credentials that is a host name and a username and password. For that I am going to create a new file. I will create it as smtp-config.php. Here we can create a variables or we can create constants. Here I am going to create a variables smtp host. Here I'll put my SMTP host that is smtp.sendgrid.com and SMTP user. This is my SMTP username for SendGrid and SMTP pass for SMTP password. I'm going to put my login credentials here smtp.sendgrid.com and I'll put this login credentials here and we'll try the email after completing this code okay php mailer and uh, here i am going to replace it with variables smtp server sorry it's a smtp host require smtp config.php 
next it's a smtp auth true so that we should enter username and password for smtp login if you have a free smtp service without identity without authentication user authentication you can set it as false smtp user that's a variable here and next one is smtp pass that's it and port everything is fine and we should update these addresses recipient i'm going to use my name and my email address i'm going to show you this email after loading this page sent from is a sender email and add address is a recipient email here we can add recipient emails or multiple recipient emails i am going to put my email on both of these places and if you have multiple recipients you can add multiple recipients here and if you have a other reply to address if you want to use a reply to address a different reply to address you can add a reply to address and cc and bcc all those you can do i am removing all this just i am going to send it to one person and if you want to add any attachments you can add these attachments here and here is the main part content html if you want to enable html you can put it as true or you can put it as false there is a subject line and a body you can add a body here alternate body without html it's a html section and the alt body is a plain text part i am going to load this file in browser before that i'll add the login credentials okay i have added the login credentials let's load this file in browser and also i am going to remove this encryption is tls that's it file load localhost slash scripts and a php mailer send email okay undefined variable smtp host on line number 17 it's a type of mistake smtp host message could not be sent mailer error could not connect to smtp host i have problem with the uh, login credentials i just updated it that's a host name is a sendgrid dot net smtp dot sendgrid not dot net i have used a dot com now it should work message has been sent if i load my email program i should see these emails email here is a email subject and name to address and from address here is a message and that's how you can use php mailer you just have to use this php mailer name spaces you should load the php mailer name spaces and add these files from the documentation and you should instantiate php mailer after it modify this code as per your requirement that's it and you can remove this message if you want or else you can keep it you have to use the same port and smtp user password host name correctly otherwise it won't work here i am using this sendgrid smtp.sendgrid.net previously i have used smtp.sendgrid.com that's why it has worked after that i updated it to smtp.sendgrid.net that's the path so it's working fine use the correct login credentials and you can sign up here for a free account thank you for watching my video do subscribe to my channel